Interrelationships in the Ecosystem, presented by At Weird Names. Level of Organization, Ecology, Biosphere, Biomes, Ecosystem, Community, Population, and Species. Ecology is the study of living things with their physical environment, while the biomes is a group of ecosystem, which is the grassland, tundra, desert, rainforest, and marine. The ecosystem is a community of biotic and abiotic components together functioning as a system, while the community is a group of population living together, and the population is a group of species living together in an area, and the species is an in individual organism. The living components of an ecosystem are called biotic factors. The biotic factors are the living organisms such as plants, animals, fungi, protists, and bacteria. Plants and algae are called producers, animals are the consumers, while fungi and bacteria are the decomposers. The non-living components of an ecosystem are called abiotic factors. These include the water, minerals, sunlight, air, climate, and soil. There are two types of ecosystem, the aquatic ecosystem and the terrestrial ecosystem. An aquatic ecosystem consists of plants and animals interacting with the water or aquatic environment. Some of examples are marshes, ponds, rivers, the sea, and the ocean. A terrestrial ecosystem consists of plant organisms like plants and animals living and interacting with the land environment. Aside from the biomes, other examples of these are the farmland, grassland, prairie, desert, urban, and forest. Primary succession is one of two types of biological and ecological succession of plant life, occurring in an environment in which new substrate devoid of vegetation and is really lacking soil, such as a lava flow or area left from retreated glacier, is deposited. Secondary succession is a process started by an event that reduces an already established ecosystem to a smaller population of species, and as such, secondary succession occurs on pre-existing soil whereas primary succession usually occurs in a place lacking soil. Producers, or also called primary consumers, absorb most of the stored energy in the plant through digestion and transform it into the form of energy they need such as adenosine triphosphate or ATP through respiration. A part of the energy received by primary consumers, herbivores, is converted to body heat, which is radiated away and lost from the system. This is the pyramid example of the consumers, which is the territory, secondary, and primary. A final link in the food chain are the composers, which break down the organic matter of the tertiary consumers and release nutrients in A food chain is a linear sequence of links in a food web starting from a species that are called producers in the web and ends at a species that is called the composer species in the web. A food chain also shows how the organisms are related with each other by the food they eat. This is an example of a food chain. The worm eats a dead plant while the turtle eats the worm and the eagle eats the turtle. This is another example of a food chain. To make it easy for you, it's just a cycle. A food web is composed of interconnected food chains. Grazing food web begins with green plants and algae, while the detrital food web begins with organic matter. This is an example of a food web. Just take a look and analyze it. Now let's move on to the types of relationships among organisms. There are four types of interactions, the symbiosis, predation, competition, and cooperation. Symbiosis is any relationship that involves two or more species living and interacting together. Part of these are mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. Mutualism refers to the relationships of two organisms where both benefit from the association. An example is the lichen and clown fishes. Commensalism is a relationship between two species in which one organism benefits while the other organism is neither benefited nor harmed. Parasitism is a symbiotic relationship where one organism benefits and the other is harmed. In this relationship, the parasite is benefited 
while the host is harmed. Predation. It is the consumption of one living organism, plant, or animal by one another. An example is the lion eats an antelope and a spider eats a cricket. Competition. The use of the same limited resource by two or more species in the same place and at the same time. There are two types of competition, the interspecific competition and the interspecific competition. Cooperation is a type of interaction where organisms cooperate with each other for their survival. Thank you for watching. Till next time, guys!